Oh, I'm so bad at this game, dude. I just realized I had lethal when I threw. Oh, no. This is an interesting deck I haven't seen in a long time. Not a great hand. I do miss subs occasionally, especially on new expansions when I get just so excited about the new cards that I, I don't have the patience to wait. Old Karina. So this is really good if he has Elise on two, right? Because Elise can't play into this on two. Thank you, sir, for supporting us. He might have his own 3-2 spider, for example, but... Yeah, that's fine. Thermo Beam on that is okay with me. It's not the end of the world. As long as he can find a Vagar fast enough, I should be okay with that. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're one mana ahead at the moment. Alright. Uh, Dark Bulb Acolyte. That's a great draw. The hell did he just say? Wait, did he speak English or was that something really, really weird? All right, come on, right over here, Vagor. Where are you? I haven't. Oh my, dude, that's that's unethical. Come on, Vagor, where are you at, brother? Why are you hiding? How did you get Tito the icon? I don't know. It was from the battle pass, I think, though. I'm pretty sure it was from the battle pass. It's English muffled by the bulb in his head. I see. Okay, that makes sense. When you play with him, Vagor on the board, Vagor can't understand him. Really? That's pretty cool. Hey, what is that? Removal, I'm assuming, right? I guess I'm just popping hidden pathways here. You can actually hear. Okay, never mind. Um, I'll play Pokey Stick first. I'll pop a Darkness second, and because I'm gonna get another Darkness next turn, I wanna I wanna reduce the cost of this. Maybe I'll play Conkrell. Ah, these guys are just annoying to block. I don't have a good log. I'm gonna play a Darkness now. It'll buff this guy, and it'll also buff this. It's strong enough. It makes his attackers a lot worse. All right, we're 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 quite a bit ahead, but not a super amount ahead. <gasps> My beautiful Vagar, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? That's annoying, but whatever. I gotta play Vagar next turn. He, if he doesn't attack, we're kind of buying ourselves some time as well, which is nice. So now we just drop Vagar. He might throw him with his Vagar. It sucks if he does. I hope he doesn't. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this first. Let's play Mr. Yordle. Ooh, that's nice. This is nice too. I kind of like the draw to look for my second Vagar because if my if my first Vagar dies, I really want to find a second one. I think Glimpse is great here. I could have played Aloof as well to get rid of Karina, but I don't need to play it quite yet. I don't need to play him until mana, until a later mana point. Alright. We got a good trade there. Vengeance for me drawing a card is fine. Why did that take so long? I wonder. Pass. I'm going to minimorph this almost every time. So... He's at 7 mana, we minimorph this turn, and then we play um, aloof next turn to stop the Karina from doing her thing. It's also good versus Lajros, right? I'm happy with this play. Remember Vi was considered good? I do remember that. I don't think I need to block this. Maybe I do. I'm okay with that. So we're actually gonna play double prank here, because we can actually prank Lajros into a massive amount of mana. I think we can, I'm not sure. Well, let's, let's prank the hell out of him. Now this plays into Withering Will really nicely for him, but whatever. All right, let's make it more expensive. And where's Ladros at? Ladroso! Okay. All right, let's drop our uh, Aloof here. Aloof is amazing here. Ladrus is gone. That's one of his main units that he needs to have. Losing Ladrus is huge. It's way worse than losing on um, what's her face. He has a great withering whale. Um, I'm just gonna pass and let him burn all his mana. Like, there's no point attacking getting withering. Like, why would I give him that? He still has to withering at some point. If he plays Ladrus here, 
I mean, I have nothing good in hand at the moment. I'm going to play this first, though. He's not burning a card. There it is. That's what I wanted to see. Good for you, man. Good for you. Let's drop a... Let's play this into Senna. No, let's drop Senna first, actually. Because I want to try to level Senna if possible. Let's try to level her up. I got too much healing to care. I have too much healing to really care about that. With this and this... Wow, that's actually a dead card, believe it or not. Um, I like playing Darkness over Vile Feast in this very niche scenario. Because she's going to give me um, a Darkness and open attack, and I'm always open attacking. Now, Karina is a big problem, so I need open attack because of Karina. She's the main reason why I have to do it. Ladris is the biggest issue we have, but we have blockers for him, which is good. Vengeance on this doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to pokey stick this. I know it's weird, but um, I'm, I'm getting a second level up point off of that. I think I like leveling her a lot. Karina could drop. I could gamble on Karina not hitting for four. I can also guarantee level her by hitting my own unit if you place Karina here and going to five. I think that's the right play. The ruination. Maybe. Maybe he ruinates this. I don't think it's good enough value for ruination. He needs to keep his hard removal for Vagar. Because she's not the main problem anymore. Vagar is. And if he ruinates, I have a guaranteed level up. Which I'll go for for sure. I still have a lot of units to rebuild my board. He's down to 13. If he wants to rune, be my guess. Okay. So we have a level up on her. He's going to go for um, get excited, I'm assuming. I'm going to pass. I don't need to play this yet. I can wait. He's not building a board at all. If he wants to waste tempo, not building a board, I'm fine with that. Like He's looking to set up a ruination. If he attacks with that, I have a great blocker. So here's the play. Um, he, he went for a very specific line there. I'm going to go for this. That's going to push me to four. Now, I don't think I want to play my stress defense here. And there's a lot of reasons for that. The main reason being that um, it doesn't heal. It, she's going to be like at one HP. I just got to gamble he goes for three. Stress the Senna. I don't like it. She's going to four. I'd rather gamble than waste this. and Because he's just going to Mystic Shot after, right? Whatever happens, let's say I stress now and he hits for four, she's down to two. He still has removal for her. I have nowhere to keep her alive. This is long-term keeping her alive if she survives. If she dies, she'll still die. Two HP with stress defense is not a very good HP versus this deck. We are the light. We are the this is way better. If she dies, she dies. But she's probably dying anyway if he hits for four, so... so let's see how much he hits for. All right, he hit for four. I needed one more fizzle there. It's not the end of the world, though. I'm just going to play unit. Like... I'll drop down Extality Sentinel here, and it's whatever. I can even play the Bulby dude if I really wanted to. I think I will, actually. Um, It's debatable. One, two, one, two, three. Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Vile Feast. Just have a blocker on board. If she dies, she dies, yeah. Basically, but I leveled her up, which means any other future Sen is leveled. And he very, very often has a Mystic Shot, like, to deal with that. He doesn't have a very good attack. I'm actually just looking to, like, get maximum value out of my darknesses here. Nothing else. 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3. So yeah, he has, he has a removal for that. I'm not really surprised. Let's play, um... Let's play Extality Sentinel then. I'm fine with this. Easy heal. I'm not going to play this yet. I think I need to save this for later turns. I think it's too early to play Stress Defense. And I need to start leveling Vagar because that's my only win con. Two points for Vagar is amazing here. Uh, usually now I'm playing this. Oh, that's really good. I can get rid of another Ladris if he has it. Let's see what he has. renation has gone. Okay. That's a great draw for us as well. 
think I played Dark Bolt though. Like this, this isn't giving me Vagar because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the mana for it. Let's drop this down and just now attack with both. We're, we're threatening more damage to board. He can't ruinate this board either. It's not good enough to ruinate. Six mana spiders is one possible play. All right, I'm fine with that. Attack here. He has to have Ladrus. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed I didn't kill a Ladrus there with that play, but let's burn his mana. He doesn't seem to have much. That's a good draw, actually. That's a very f solid, solid card. Vengeance would be great. I don't care about spiders. Um, the most important thing here is I play this first to see if I get out of Vagar or not. And if not, I just drop this dude. I want to buff this more. This is only hitting for three, and that's really slow. I'm fine with that as well. So, I think now what we're going to do is play this dude. Nah, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta shuffle more darknesses. I'll play darkness, I'll take two to face, and I'll drop down Bulb and play another darkness. That should leave him with an empty board, and I'll have two attackers. Just kill me. Was that two or three mystics? I think that's two mystics. Might be wrong. So now Vagar is leveled. We have Vagar leveled up, which is which is five HP, which is significant. Aloof is so sassy. I'm I'm fine with that as well. Like removal on these units really doesn't matter. All right, let's party. The question now comes: Do we drop down the Sentinel or not? We always play this first to see what our options are. Wow, I'm gonna okay this actually because um, if he spends enough mana. I'll be able to drop Vagar down with no repercussions. I need him to spend enough mana that he doesn't have Vengeance mana up. Because this is my main win con now. Alright, we're just going to start picking, a, picking at his face then. If he wants to spend removal on this, that's great. Like, he, he can't keep taking damage. He has to play Grasps and, and weird things like that. We've got a lot of good cards in hand. We have Senna plus Stress Defense. Senna plus Fast Speed Withering. I'm just going to pass. I'm fine with that. This is going to cost him the game if he keeps letting me, like, pick at his face. I got to wait for the next Ladros. The next big drop. I can chump lock that. I don't care. Um, let's drop this down. Yo, what's up, Living? Thank you for the eight months of support, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Very kind of you, man. Um, Let's see. I can definitely drop Senna here. Senna into Darkness is amazing. Darkness plus Pokey Stick is really good. It kills this off before he attacks. Snipe? I don't think so. He's just playing around Vagar. He knows Vagar kills him in like a turn or two. But he can't afford to um, Ruination here. All right, now we just drop Vagar and we're good, right? We do this into this because it's very cheap to do. And he doesn't have Thermo Beam on this because it doesn't kill me. Vagar gives me a Darkness and we, um, we destroy. Like, like, Vagar is huge here. Um, my, the only question is, do I open attack or not? Like, do I open attack or not? I'm not sure. Because this only hits for three. It's fine. Thermo is great because it means he has no mana for anything. I have stress defense, which is amazing. Alright, let's party. I think I do open attack. I don't want to get ruinationed. Because he, he he's forced to use removal on this now. And if he spends like a Withering Whale, he's still taking six to face. And he ha he has to be efficient with his removal. Like, let's say he Vengeances this. Then he's down to what? um Three HP. I don't think he can afford to Vengeance this. Yeah, GG. Yo, Grappler for President with the four months of support, my man. I like that username. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for supporting us. Chat, stop being wrong. It's sometimes difficult. 7 plus 7 equals 18, I know. I, that, that, it's it's mind-blowing. 7 plus 7 equals 18 to chat. How? I don't know how. I don't know how. You didn't need to attack is the question. Then how do I win? If I don't attack, how do I win? How do I get... How do I get... Hey, buddy. Hope you liked the little pressy I made you yesterday. Then it's just 7 damage. He's down to 11. Next turn comes around, and what do I do with his 11 when I have 8 damage in hand, when he open attacks? Tell me. Teach me, chat! What's, what's, what's the strategy there? You wait for a disconnect? 
Oh man, sometimes you guys make the weirdest, weirdest comments. It's, it, it hurts me sometimes. I, I, I literally feel physical pain occasionally. I'm not even kidding. I feel physical pain sometimes when you guys do these things. Losing it to Arsenal, bug feels so bad. Meh, it's going to be fixed eventually. It is what it is. He had a way to kill Vagar anyway. He did, but the point remains. My play was the only right play. Anything else would have been wrong. If you guys don't see it, I don't tell you. Every other play is wrong. It's fine. Let's, uh... I'm gonna wait until he draws more cards. I'm gonna have to pop pranks on mana 7, right? If I don't find my aloofs to get rid of his... Because right here, the strategy is to kill his arsenals. That's the most important thing. As long as arsenals die, I, I'm in a good spot. Now, unfortunately, this guy dies if I play him on curve. We're gonna open with this. I could play her into uh, darkness. That seems pretty good. He can go under 3 mana. Okay, we're good. We play him instead then. And we'll just wait. He has no um, landmarks to target because everything's popping that turn. Right? So we're, we're actually looking really good defensively speaking. If he plays a landmark now, we instantly pop prank. To prevent the... Yeah, I don't mind this. There's actually an argument not to block this guy, but I don't like that argument. So now we're always playing silt Stilted, I believe. Now, now is the time we want to really start getting maximum value out of Darkness. Again, he has no landmark. The moment he places a landmark like that, we instantly prank now. We look for the removal card that kills Vagar. That's Vulnerable is actually really good. I like Vulnerable on that, because we can actually kill it with Quick Attack or Attacks. And we pop another one looking for the 4 cost card. There there it is. Now it costs 5. He could play all 5 mana, but it's still a pretty good um, pretty good deny. And he has to kill Vagar here, so... Be my guest. He has to play it at 5. It's still a, a 1 mana advantage to me. Yeah. And he loses a draw. I'm fine with this. Alright. We got to buff it by one. Threes are significantly better than twos. Mm. Let's see what this gives me. Ooh, that's a nice card. It's a good removal card. I might as well kill this off. And I think I'm going to play a Vile Feast afterwards. And that's going to give him a really low value for his landmark. Now, Zareth kind of sucks here, but he's afraid of me playing... Um... Well, actually, he... there's nothing to be afraid of here if he has Zareth. Alright, and we got a good attack here as well. Okay, we no longer have a good attack. Crap. Pass. I need to find more Vagars or Senna's. They're both pretty good. I've got. I found no way to get rid of this uh, Arsenal yet. I mean, I do have. I do have vulnerable. So that means if I can keep my Dark Bulb Acolyte alive, that's really good for me. He doesn't have Spell Shield yet, which is a pretty big deal, but it's not going to matter. I can't even see everything it has. Let's uh. Yeah, let's play Acolyte here. The more Acolytes I have, the more value I get for every creative card. I might... I'm going to have to play this before the next one, though, obviously. Killing the 5-3 feels really good. I might take the 5 to face, just to get more... Um, more more good... Wait, what, what, what is that attack? That makes no sense. These guys make no sense to me, but okay. I might do this, actually, just to kill off the 5-3. That's fine. And actually, I think I'm going to take the... Wow, never mind. He just pulled with the wrong guy. Even better. Yes, please do that. That's exactly the play I want you to do. <laughs> Thank you. Imagine if he plays this. Easy does it. 
three damage. I want to keep both of these guys alive. I think I'm going to take this five to face. Uh, yeah. We'll do the following. We'll play um, Darkness plus Pokey Stick on that. And then we'll play uh, Group Shot once we play this guy down the next turn. It's fine. A bit unfortunate, but let's let's play this now then. So Pokey Stick it is. And again, we have group shot to kill this. He's running low on resources. Now this guy is gonna get his uh his what do you call it? It's a good draw too. Alright, where's my Senna's? Where's my Vagars? Come on, come on, get over here. Ah, I think I need to wait for him to play um one of these, but he might have another one, right? If he has if he has um this card is the highest cost card. I have to play it. I have to play it. It might discard another one, which is stronger than it. That's pretty big if that's the only one he had. If he had another one, I'm just... I'm, I'm dead. But he would have played the other one first anyway, probably. And he would have played that one on his turn, so it wouldn't matter. All right. All right, we're looking better, boys. We are looking a lot spicier here. Things are looking good. Finally. All right, things are looking, things are looking decent. I'm not going to waste the group shot, I think. Because group shot is fast. That's a problem. That, my good friends, is a problem because I just simply don't have enough damage. So I'm going to attack with this. 3, 4. I'm going to attack with this. I need, a, I need this to hit for 4. I need to kill a Xerath ASAP. Gonna kill his own dude. That would be a cool play. Yes, he is. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. That's a smart play. I like that. Alright. That okay, he didn't pick fast. That means he didn't find his archivist. It wasn't a fast pick. That's great for us. Zero down to one is probably the best play I have. Because then I can, if he if he opens with killing this off, I can group shot him. If he doesn't open with, I can withering him. I'm pretty happy with this. We're kind of low on cards, but so is he. He has stress defense though. Eh. We'll see what happens. I could just mini morph him. What a crap hand. He's he's definitely going to stress defense here, but it is what it is. Let's waste the stress defense. He can only save one of the two. He main decks that? Oh, wait, he had a zillion on board. Never mind. Uh, It is what it is. Field landmark is a win con. Alright. I need to I need I need I need to find my champions. There is a good one. That's a good one, dude. Attacks. Does anything block this guy? Yes, a lot of things block this guy. Let's attack with this. I'm fine with that. I still have this to deal with him. I don't need to play it yet. I'm gonna wait for him to commit though to removal before I do anything. I also need to level this guy before I can play him because he has so many ways to deal four damage. Let's see what this gives me. I kind of like drawing. Yeah, drawing is for sure the right play. Yeah, they target Vagar. I'm aware of that. He's the weakest unit. I can't really play him. He did not draw um, his big dude yet. I'm going to wait one turn for this, because I'm going to need to have some good blockers here. So that died. Just don't top deck the card and we're good. Don't top deck your big dude and we're good. Minimorph, I will after he plays something. Now we definitely Minimorph, because he's going to look for a removal. Actually, maybe I'll wait for the Minimorph. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it. I'm going to drop it now. 
I definitely play this at the start of my turn because he would have played his big guy if he had him, I think. He would have instantly played him, which means I get to, I get a chance for him to draw two cards. Okay. What are the odds of him having one more Xerus Breath? I'm going to drop this now. This is the turn. I also have enough mana for Stress Defense, where it's good enough. This hits for four. It kills his dude. We're forcing Stress out of him. Let's hope he doesn't have um, removal for this. That would be disgusting. Okay, he literally just told me everything he has. He literally just told me everything he has. I'm down to 1 HP. That's absolutely fine. Going down to 1 doesn't even matter. It makes no difference because we're killing him now. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So now we go for this. He's going to stress defense his dude to keep him alive. And we're going to drop down group shot and just make him cry because he can't, he can't keep that alive. All right. We're also leveling Vagar, which is huge. So let's, uh, let's party here. We are looking good, boys! Looking like a win. Now, before we attack, we always, always, always have to play our, uh, our, our loop dude. In case he drew his A drop. That would be a big mistake not to play that. This is the first card I have to play every single time. It's just a must play. And we're going to override this right here. Okay, he didn't draw it. So he, we know for a fact he doesn't have it. No! No, you're, you're not that disgusting, are you? There's no way. I don't believe it. I don't believe that's even humanly possible. There's no way. There's no way somebody can be that good at the game. If he, if he draws it now, I'm going to be shocked. I have lethal, right? Oh my god, I just threw the game. I just realized I had lethal. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game, dude. I just realized I had lethal and I threw. Oh no. I threw the... Oh my god, I threw this game. Holy... Oh my god, I threw this game, dude. I can't believe it. I can't believe how hard I threw. I cannot believe it. I'm the hardest thrower of all time. No one has thrown this hard. I'm going to stress him. Don't worry. He, he, first, I, first I threaten lethal, then I stress. Chill, chat. First I threaten lethal, then I stress. Attack. Attack with Vagar, it's pointless because... Um, he, he might just block him out of curiosity. And then I, then I don't have a lethal for next turn. Okay, we have a kill on him. What, do, I kill, do I kill Zillion or I, do, I, do I stress test my guy? I don't know what to do, dude. What do I prefer? I mean, it, it has to be stress defense here. Because uh, he has no way to stop lethal next turn. It has to be stress defense. Well, now we know it's stress defense, obviously. That hurts him. That hurts him so much. He's feeling the pain. Imagine now. Listen. I'm not calling. I'm just saying imagine Scout Elusive. Exact, exact lethal. Scout Elusive. I, I, I don't want to I don't, I don't see it because Scout Elusive, even with me healing face once, is exact lethal. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Scout Elusive would be exact lethal. 16 damage to face. Or, and lifesteal. Yeah, just, just, just to add on to it. Sure. I, I'm down for that. Later, buddy. It was a good game, but I was better. The health buff heals. Look, guys, I made an epic that doesn't suck. Grappler, when I'm summoned, create an I won't miss allegiance. <laughs> oh, no, dude. <laughs> That's great. I love it, dude. Oh, I, I want this card, man. I want that card. And it's a neutral. That's amazing. Neutral card. Love it. Fantastic. How's that bad? I can build some some awesome awesome decks, man.